this is Santosh Kedanapal, I am your CCNA trainer. So in the previous videos we have seen the data link layer stuffs. So in that we missed the topic called address resolution protocol. So we are going to discuss ARP. Address resolution protocol. So what is the purpose of this ARP means? Suppose I am bringing one PC to another PC. So initially I have to locate these devices for communication purpose. So I don't know the physical address of that particular destination. So in that case which protocol is helping me to resolve the MAC address means this ARP. It is running under layer 2, it is in data link layer. So ARP resolve MAC address with the help of IP address. So with respect to ARP, so as we are discussed uh, Ethernet frames, right? So in that we have preamble, destination MAC, source MAC, type, data part, then FCS. Similarly in ARP2, we have the PDU format. So in ARP field, we have hardware type, protocol type, hardware size, protocol size, op code, sender MAC address, sender IP address, target MAC address, target IP address. Suppose consider that you have one switch in that two PCs are connected. So one PC IP is 10.0.0.1, another PC IP is 10.0.0.2, they are in same subnet. So initially when I try to ping this both the guys, this PC1 doesn't know where the PC2 is located. So initially it will check <coughs> R cache whether the MAC address is mapping is done or not and also it do a logical operation called AND operation to figure it out whether the destination as well as source is coming in same network or different network. So when it generates the R request traffic it will be broadcast. When the R reply comes it will be unicast. So in that case they will be figuring out the MAC address. So we have ARP types also. So it is proxy or inverse up, reverse up, serial up, then G up. So what is proxy up sir? So when the when you are bringing two PC, they are not in same network, they are in different network. So in that case, your switch will not handle the traffic, your router will handle the traffic. The layer to MAC address will keep on change, but the IP address remains the same. So the router handles the ARP traffic, that kind of ARP is called as proxy ARP. So your gateway. So what is G ARP sir? Gracious ARP. Suppose your two users are connected in a LAN. So uh, my name is Santosh. Another guy name is also Santosh. How I will figure it out? Both guys are using same name. So instead of name you replace that as IP address. So how I will figure it out in a network that some other PC is using my IP address. So this gracious art will give an idea about IP address conflict. So what is reverse art? Next one. So it is the opposite of art. So in art we are figuring it out. MAC address but in reverse of we are figuring it out IP address so I, I know the MAC address but I don't know the IP address so in olden days they are using RARP server to get the IP address later one more protocol came boot protocol so it was delivering the IP address dynamically but it also fetch the boot files the image file of the PC or uh, some other devices from that protocol only we came to know a protocol called DHCP which provide dynamic IP. Then currently we are using DHCP v6. So this is about the reverse up process. Then we have one more protocol called as serial line up. So in case you are having serial link between the routers and server is in one network, client is in another network. Through DHCP relay, they will be getting the IP. If the link is in serial link, 
it will figure out the uh, send the IP address by means of a pr protocol called serial line ARP. So it will carry those information. So these are the types of op we are having in layer two. So I will concise the information. So op is running under layer two. The types of ARPs are proxy op, reverse op, GR, inverse op. I left. What about inverse op means? Suppose you have a WAN technology called frame relay. This frame relay device comes under ISP side and your router comes under customer side. So in between this router as well as frame relay device, you have to establish a connection. So that connection name here is called as virtual circuit. So this virtual circuit mapping is done by IP address as well as DLCI. DLCI means data link connection identifier. So mapping of IP address and DLCI in frame relay is called as inverse op to form a virtual circuit. So this is also one of the ARP running under frame relay technology. It is a WAN technology. So these are the types of ARP you can figure out in layer 2 to know about the MAC address. So in next videos, we are going to discuss about IP address information. Thank you.